So it's been a very interesting ride so far with iOS 16. We've pretty much found out that Apple, for a lot of these older devices, they don't really care too much about, I guess, porting over a lot of these features for the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8, and 8 Plus, which I found very, very weird. But strangely enough, there's an iPhone out there, which I have in my hands right now, that is older, that Apple actually brought over a majority of the features for with iOS 16. And although I'm not happy with how they treated the iPhone 10, the iPhone 10s that I have in my hands right now, I'm actually pretty surprised of the way Apple went ahead and kind of ported over a bunch of these features over to this specific iPhone. Now, the iPhone XS is a 2018 flagship. It was pretty much the second tier phone. The XS Max was more of a flagship, to be honest. But this was still a very interesting iPhone that Apple made because physically, it didn't really bring that much to the table that the iPhone 10 already didn't have. But I guess internally, at least in Apple's standpoint, it looks like, I guess, this was a pretty big difference from the iPhone 10. Now I want to go ahead and show you all a very interesting thing. So you saw me go to the Google, I typed in, so you saw me go to Google, I typed in the iOS 16 update. When you scroll all the way down on Apple's own website, this is what's super crazy. And I showcased this to you guys the other day too. Basically at the very end where it says, you know, all these little asterisks and little things like this, they actually go ahead and tell you a lot of these features are only supported on iPhones with the Apple A12 Bionic chip or newer. Basically the iPhone XS is that iPhone that has the Apple A12 Bionic chip inside of it. So when you were looking through an iPhone like this, and you guys can kind of see for yourself, a lot of these say Apple A12 Bionic or newer, and some explicitly say iPhone XS and or iPhone XR. Now, I will say for an iPhone 10 owner and iPhone 8 owners out there, it is a little bit different because when you have an iPhone like this, you don't really want it to be outdated in that standpoint. You don't want it to go ahead and pretty much, you know, get a lackluster experience or lackluster features and that can be kind of annoying. In this specific case when you're scrolling through here you can see for the iPhone XS at least you're getting a fairly decent experience at least in terms of the performance. So I think that in and of itself is actually really really important for all the features you'll be getting within iOS 16. Now when I go and make my way over to basically all these features including the lock screens, the unsending iMessages and all that stuff, I love those features because those are ported to all the iPhones but when you have an iPhone like the iPhone XS that supports live text, even live text in video. You have a lot of cool things here and there. I'm actually really happy about that. But like I said, when I look at phones like the iPhone 10 that Apple kind of did dirty, they were even removing features before iOS 16 came out. They were doing such weird things, not giving it proper face ID, repairing all this other crazy stuff. I'm not even too sure what they were doing. But essentially because of that, I kind of was expecting the next versions of software to pretty much limit the amount of features, but I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. So what I will tell you is, I guess I will have to like the iPhone XS. This was not an iPhone that I was super happy about when it first came out. And even for the last few years, I wasn't the first one to kind of, you know, talk about it. I was mostly looking at it as, you know what, if you don't want to buy an iPhone 11, go for the XS. Or if you find a XS for a good value around the same price as an iPhone 10, then just go ahead and buy it. But that's kind of how I look at the iPhone XS right now, to be honest. I guess I'm going to have to like it because I got most of the features with iOS 15 or 16 for that most part. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.